Earlier in the episode, Greg had complained about his health, saying he was experiencing chest pains, numbness and felt like he was going to pass out. The feeling didn't go away, and eventually, Greg asked to be admitted to the hospital for monitoring. For the last couple days he's been like, I just don't feel good. I just don't feel good. But this time he was crying in tears, Nini told fellow housewife Cynthia Bailey. I was like, okay, you want to go to the doctor or do you want to go to the hospital? And he was like, I want to go to the hospital. His dad had heart issues, and Greg's always had it in his head that he's going to have heart issues, she added. Though Nini told Bailey, I think he'll be fine. The former supermodel was convinced Nini was failing to see the problem in front of her. I've known Nini for like 8 years now. I know she is very concerned, but I also can see that she's in denial, Bailey confessed. I don't think she's fully grasped how serious any type of heart situation could potentially be. I think Nini is dealing with the situation with Greg the best way she knows how to. She's not the girl that handles any kind of sickness situation well. Nini did let her guard down when the two talked again later, a day after Greg had entered the hospital. He's, elevating his feet and all this stuff, trying to keep his heart rate where it needs to be, she said, explaining that Greg was still suffering from dizziness from time to time. Last night I didn't sleep good because normally it's me who's gone. Normally Greg is here. So I didn't sleep good knowing he is gone. It's no wonder she feels that way. Nini and Greg have been married for 18 years and together even longer, though, as Ra fans remember, they briefly divorced in 2011 and remarried two years later, as seen on Nini's spin-off series, I Dream of Nini, The Wedding. The couple have one son together, Brent, 18. I've been with Greg since I was in my 20s, Nini said on the episode. The only secret I can tell you a relationship is finding a way to still love each other and be attracted to one another. Without Greg, what would I do? Who is going to cut the grass? Who is the pole person? Who do we pay our lights and gas to? While the episode ended in a cliffhanger, all appears to be well with Greg now. He recently stood by his wife's side on Halloween, dressing up as a cockroach to her pest control operator. Operator. Thank you for watching and listening. Please subscribe our channel for more news and updates and updates.